Okay guys, this is just a quick video to show you how to get your um, your status bar colored, um, how to work paperboard and how to get accents on your apps. So first of all, if I go into settings, to get your status bar colored, you need Lockify Pro, which is this one here. Let me move this to the center. And it's got a few options, general, lock screen options, hide stuff, change the color of like the time on it slider options, get rid of the glint and things like that. And then if you click on state um, status bar, click that and you can change the color. There's either a list of colors here. If you go back out, you can also adjust it using the sliders there. So that's pretty simple. You set that, you respring. There you are. It doesn't really show in, inside of most apps, but it is on the springboard. And if you have it's showing on your lock screen, it will show on your lock screen as well. I'll go back into settings, and where I've got you know colored here and colors on the switches is app die. You just go into the app, enable the tweak. You, if you switch die SMS, it does your message bubble message bubbles. I'll just quickly show you that. As you can see, my bubbles again, I've got this kind of sandy color going on. Go back into it. If you dye the keyboard, it will do your keyboard. But I'm actually using an app called Key. So I don't know why this is frozen on me. But yeah, I'm using Cool Key. You've seen it in my screenshots before. That's just from the App Store. And it's cool with three O's, not two. If you dye the status bar, I think it changes the color as well, but I haven't bothered to do that. Yeah, and then you just click down here to use the dye color, and then you can use the color wheel or again use the sliders down there to set your color. Just click cancel. I didn't change anything, and you can disable it in certain applications. I've disabled it in the ones I don't really use because I think for iOS seven, if I remember correctly, if you had too many. You know, you didn't disable some, it kind of crashed sometimes. So you can just go ahead and disable applications that you don't use. And then we have paperboard. As you can see, I've got like these gold dots at the top here. That's a wallpaper. So in order to set it, you need to go into settings or it comes with an app on the app screen. Go method to show panel. And you just have to choose an activation method that you want. I... I think every time you go into it, it does, undoes it. I have the, sorry, this, this um, mirror program I'm using is really slow with the iPhone 6, but I've, you probably can't read it, but I've got the free finger tap. So you just set whatever app activation method you want. It works in sync with Activator, basically. You come out, and if I basically go to my notes, I'll do my activation method. and then it pops up with this window and you just go to photos choose your photo missed it god damn it there's this photo <laughs> there we are and then I usually play around with the contrast and the saturation just to get it how I like. Click done. And there you are. And you can set that for individual apps, but I've got that just everywhere. It's like you saw, it's in behind my settings. It's in mail. So, yeah. That's it. It's pretty simple, guys. Again, if you've got any questions, just comment below or ask me on Instagram and I'll try and